We actually did a dosage study. So we had people come into the lab for a single session and they played either a long dosage, so to speak, of the app or a short dosage. The short dosage was about 25 minutes and the long dosage was 40 or 45 minutes. There we go. <laughs> so with this game we've developed, it's a very simple technique where we've taken a lab-based approach and embedded it in the structure of the game and you basically create competition for attention and what competes for attention is something negative and something positive. Um, in our game we have an angry sprite and a happy sprite. And in the game what we do is we train people to pay attention to the happy sprite, to follow the joy, to focus on the positive by always following um, the trail in the grass that the happy sprite makes after the happy sprite burrows down. And what we found is that even with the short dosage you actually uh, saw reductions in subjective feelings of anxiety um, after playing the app compared to a placebo control. So it was the exact same game except it was uh, you randomly followed the happy or the angry sprite. I think we need a little bit more evidence. I think we have to actually test this with clinical populations a little bit more characteristically, but I can absolutely see how this could work with a wide range of conditions that we're treating every day. We developed this game because there's really a crisis in mental health now where we have some excellent scientifically supported treatments for things like stress and anxiety disorders, but they're burdensome, they're expensive, they're time consuming, they're stigmatizing, and they're not accessible for many people. So we as psychologists need to do a better job of developing treatments that people can access that are effective and really give people a sense of empowerment to promote their own mental wellness.